Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I am the author of Toxic Light. I'm here today to look into stray voltage that comes from the power system. Stray voltage is known to kill cows in the dairy industry and the ones that it doesn't kill, it makes them extremely sick. And I've noticed that my house seems to have a stray voltage problem which I'm trying to diagnose. So we're currently on volts AC on the meter and we have the positive probe in water. That's on my tile floor. And I've noticed that my tile floor seems to have a voltage on it. This voltage seems to be right now about one volt peak to peak AC, 60 hertz. So it's coming from the power system. And right now you can see that we've got 159 millivolts on this water, somewhat fluctuates. And the thing I've noticed is when you're measuring in water, it very much depends on the location of the water. So let's move this and see what happens. Okay, so we've got 180 up on the table. And if we slide it across, you see that over there it's now reading 330. Let's move it some more. So we've got 400 millivolts over there. So this is telling me that this table is a wooden table and it's insulated from the floor and there's nothing near this. So the only thing that can be affecting the voltage on this water is a AC voltage field that is in the house and this voltage field is invisible and the only way to measure it is to do what we're doing is to either measure it on your body or to put a probe in water ground the other end to the earthing grounding system in the house and move your pot of water around so we move it a little bit more it's gone up a little bit more so 422 millivolts and the interesting thing is, so we bring it back over. So we've got 180 millivolts. So if I touch it, you see that the field goes up simply by placing my hand next to it. So the electric field on my body. It's actually affecting the electric field in the water. I'm currently insulated from the floor because I have shoes on. So I'm going to take these shoes off and stand on the tile floor. And the tile floor is conductive, it's actually on concrete, which is connected, connected in to the grounding system. And let's see what happens now. So it goes the opposite way when I'm grounded. And the grounding system on this house has about one volt peak to peak AC on it, which I'm still trying to rectify that problem. And that's a stray voltage problem. So it's quite an interesting effect. So it all depends whether you're insulated. If you're insulated, it pushes the voltage up. If you're grounded, it brings the voltage down. So this effect has me quite fascinated right now. And I'm going to show you what the voltage is on the floor. So I've just put my shoes back on. I'm going to pull this probe out. So this is my AC voltage when I'm insulated. Standing in my shoes, we have 732 millivolts. I'm holding the probe between my thumb and forefinger. So let's kick off the shoes. Stand on the floor. So standing on the tile floor we have 359 millivolts. So it's quite different. And there's one more thing I want to show you. I'm going to switch the meter over 
to Hertz, so we're on Hertz right now. And hopefully we should be able to pick up a 60 Hertz field. Hey, there it is. So you can see we are actually picking up on the 60 hertz main supply. So it's an interesting effect, and uh, it's definitely coming from the main system. And uh, I still have more work to do, but I think what's happening right now is that this voltage and frequency is actually coming from the utility company because it occurs when my fuse board is switched off. So I'm actually working with the utility company to try and get to the bottom of this. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it all works out because uh, yeah, I'm somewhat concerned that my house has AC voltage on it. And given the fact that it's called stray voltage and it's known to kill cows in the dairy industry, just two volts AC will kill a cow in the dairy industry. You know, having one volt AC on my tile floors is something to be concerned about. And I renewed my grounding system. It's actually 12.8 ohms now. It's actually uh, within the National Electric Code of below 25 ohms. And it actually halved the voltage on the floor. So this is the new floor, the new grounding system. Before I did this, my voltage reading on the floor was about 2 volts AC peak to peak. So the grounding system had an effect, the new grounding system, but it still hasn't rectified the problem. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, it all turns out and what the actual problem is. But that's where I'm up to right now. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.